G'day guys. This is a video about the BMW Mini and the disastrous uh, steering system. I thought I'd make the video now because um, I'll be too busy tomorrow, but I'm so tired. I'm going to just stick to basically um, discussing the replacement of these hoses i'm overpaying 500 plus dollars um for this hose it's been repaired okay and with that repair we've replaced the hoses to the tank a lot of your leaks will be from here and that's been going on for many years with these zf tanks um as you can see i've replaced it with the zf pump okay so when the strut um, top bearing mounts seize, these pumps leak, uh, these pumps fail. Uh, when the struts don't seize, these pumps leak. Okay. Um, my God, I'm tired. So tomorrow the uh, lower control armbushes will be replaced while it's all out. Um, yeah, so these hoses can be repaired and you leave them loose and do the final positioning to clear it of the rack and the shields at the end of the job. Um, and this is what they're famous for also um, most of them have an oil leak from the front uh, of the engine. This had a crack in the sump. So we've used some of that Permatex uh, liquid steel stuff. Uh, obviously check all your connections and stuff like that. There's the oil filter housing. Okay, they're the fan connectors. That's the automatic transmission cable. Very fragile ABS. Whenever working on the minis, just remove the ABS sensor because they just fail. Just if you look at it, don't look at it, it fails. Um, and this is the job. I mean, um, I got a Camry in earlier today with a leaking power steering hose. Took five minutes to take off. Uh, one of these, the salt got to it from Bondi, one of them. And you can't actually buy them, but I got a secondhand rack and replaced the hose. Did the whole job on the floor. Um, this, unfortunately, is um, not like that. So you need time and parts, but um, uh, the ZF pump uh, has been replaced with a ZF pump. And um, yeah, uh, and that's, yeah. I, I won't go obviously into doing the job. I thought I would, but I can't. I mean, um, obviously the subframe has to come out. Okay, and the tank can come out like that with it and then you reassemble it like that. Uh, put some grease on them when you put them back in. And um, shock absorbers always leak. Um, some plugs round, radiator caps collapse. What doesn't go on these cars, um, that mount doesn't really go. Um, They're the subframe bolts. Okay, not a lot of bolts have come off the car. I mean, you've got those. And, um, oh goodness, what are all them? Oh, oh that's the uh, transmission gear selector bracket that's come off. Uh, that's, the, that's the thing about doing job over a matter of days. You sort of come back and you're like, oof, <laughs> but it'll be fine. These will be replaced tomorrow, as I said. So this pump was leaking for a little while and then it just got out of hand. She lost her steering, but the strut tops are seizing and creaking, which blows the pump in this event. I've decided to replace the pump um, before I get a high resistance code from the steering system. Absolutely awful design. There's an interesting history to these cars. Apparently... Um, BMW bought it and then it took five years to get it to their standard. As you can see, they've used the same thing. They've got this obsession with these um, rubbers. When, when you loosen that particular one, you have to hold that or it 
rips of rubber, but the, the, you know, very familiar BMW stuff. Very strong subframe. Very, very robust hub assemblies. Obviously, check your wheel bearings and stuff, but that's a, that's monstrous. Um, but they're not safe cars. They just feel feel heavy. Apparently they're not very safe at all, this model. The R52 this is. And when the pump, when the hoses leak from the top, I mean, you just don't know where the oil's coming from, but this particular one was um, leaking. Everything was leaking. It was leaking from everywhere. And um, basically, to end this video, um, I'll discuss ZF's procedure. Uh, obviously, you don't want to foam the oil when bleeding. Um, so, fill it up, leave the car off the ground and turn the wheels manually without starting the engine. You don't, don't want to foam the oil up with an electric pump or any pump really, but yeah, and then leave it and then come back, do it again very slowly. And, um, you know, if the tank level is going to start fluctuating and bouncing up and down, the oil is, uh, you need to keep bleeding again. Okay, ZF mentioned with the circulating ball steering, which is in this, you can use the tie rods to get an extended stroke or something, but yeah, don't worry about that. Um, but yeah, I mean, no wonder it took them five years. You know, look at that. Gurney's down. Normally I gurney all this, and um, uh, but um, I have cleaned it as best I can for now, and tomorrow I will wipe it all down again. Um, yeah, the oil leak on the front I find is uh, a lot of the times from the O-ring on the um, crankshaft sensor, and um, that's the quick vid that's now seven minutes long. Okay, don't try this at home. <laughs> okay, bye.